Hello, it is Saturday, February 11th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Saturday puzzle today, so a relatively challenging, unthemed puzzle. A themeless crossword today should be what we have in store, and this potentially relatively challenging themeless edition of the Daily Solve has been brought to us by Quotidia File, Overfall Hitbox, Joseph Schwalbach, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark and the indomitable Shoalmaster. So thank you so much to the five of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support in bringing us this series and sustaining this channel. I do very much appreciate that. Uh, thank you to them, to all of my benefactors. And if you'd like to become a benefactor yourself and get the Daily Solve Let's Check the Crosses mug, you can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve or in a link in the description field underneath the video. And of course, by following that same link, you can also become a patron at any level you choose. And in doing so, you will receive access to all of the bonus videos that have gone up on the channel to date, as well as the new ones that go up each week, such as yesterday's uh, most recent weekly speed solve of the mini crosswords and the... Um, practice puzzle of the uh, boss words spring no winter winter wonder solve uh puzzles the the rest of which i will be completing soon for patrons and um so do check those out if you have access to them you can also join the daily solve discord chat server there's a link to the description field as well in um to that a nice friendly chat community and please do subscribe to the youtube channel if you've not yet done so i'd very much appreciate that thanks to everybody who's done so all right, so all of that said, let's get on to today's solve. This was constructed by Sam Azursky, who is, I think his title is the assistant puzzles editor of the New York Times. He's, I think he's best known as the person who curates the um, Spelling Bee uh, game published by the New York Times, which was the sort of New York Times game phenomenon before they acquired Wordle. That was the sort of previous one of those. And I mean, it's I'm sure it's still very popular. And he has constructed several dozen constr uh, crosswords for the paper. So, uh, and it was edited, of course, as always by Will Shorts. So let's start solving and see what Sam Azersky has in store for us today. A very, an airy grid, lots of big, long answers, it, lo it looks like. Uh, those out for blood, I don't know, it could be sort of mosquitoes or something. It's not, okay. It's trying to think what would be a very straightforward but still slightly punny answer to this. Not sure. Geographical anagram of Bogota. Um, oh, this will be. This is one of those things where if you see it, it'll be screamingly obvious, and then if you don't, like me, uh, you just don't know where to go. I am not. I am not very good at getting. Um, I'm not very good at immediately spotting anagrams. It's something I wish. Uh, I were better at because it would be very helpful in solving cryptic crosswords. Uh, let's keep going. A bit of nonstick cookware, a Teflon pan that works with this T here. Um, oh my goodness. Expanse on a Spanish explorer's map. I'm not sure what that's looking for. Star Trek species. Greatly enjoyed with up, eight up. And spirits that come in bottles. Gins or genies, maybe? Is this the plural of gin? No, it couldn't be. Oh, maybe genie pluralized in this manner? Oh, Tobago, as in Trinidad and Tobago. There we go. Oh, that took me absolutely ages. And it, it's, <laughs> it, again, as I say, it seems so incredibly obvious when when you see it and i wish i just could have jumped straight there but i didn't what can you do razor name question mark occam um the uh, sort of the namesake of occam's razor the uh um principle dealing with sort of simplicity every time i explain this someone says well actually there's a much more precise way that this applies to uh sort of mathematical and scientific theorems and so in any case, I like to think of it as um, uh, sort of suggesting a preference towards the simplest explanation before looking for something more complicated. But I know that that's not completely uh, all-encompassing and accurate in every respect. Sustainable engineering field informally. Ecotech, maybe? Um, ecological technology? Sort of green technology? Biodegradable bag material, maybe hemp. Hemp could be used to make a biodegradable bag. 
And, oh, this will be the ocean. The expand, expanse on a Spanish explorer's map. And why can't I think what the word would that would, for that would be? I mean, I assume it'll be very similar to ocean, but I can't place it off the top of my head. Oh, the Borg? That's from Star Trek, right? Borg. Star Trek species. I'm sure that's right. What Minnesota and Michigan are part of, but not Missouri? Oh, I bet this will be a sports thing. It'll be some sort of conference. I have no idea which one that would be. What about this? It has a ring of 12 gold stars on a blue background for short. The EU flag, the European Union flag. Um, and Rams home the NFL. Is that an NFL team? I'm assuming it is. Okay, get in trouble, perhaps. I'm not sure. Capital known as Kaijo before the 1940 Seoul, I bet. That looks like a Japanese name that presumably dates from um, Japanese colonization, sort of Japanese colonial period of Korea. That would be my suspicion. Um, and I say suspicion because I don't, I, I didn't specifically know this term, I don't think, for as the former name of Seoul, but that would be my, that'd be my suspicion. All right, host. Uh, an MC, maybe someone who's hosting a um, sort of the masters of Cere master of ceremonies at an event of a gala or something. Get in trouble, perhaps. Um, get in trouble. I'm not sure. A life for the blank. Mikhail Glinka opera. I actually saw. Um, I was at. A performance by the London Philharmonic last night, and there was a, it opened with a very short, sort of five minute overture from a Glinka uh, work. But it wasn't this one, <laughs> and, I, and I don't know the answer to this offhand. With 55 down, gamble. Oh, right, that just says with six down, of course. Um, a die roll, maybe? No, no too, not, not enough letters in the second one. Okay, supposedly. According to some is obviously much too long. I'm trying to think if there's another way of saying that that uses the end. I don't think so. Supposedly seems to me or something. I'm not sure. Writing of Horace. Well, Horace did write some odes. <laughs> so is there a way we can get the official poetic form of the New York Times in here? I don't know. Yeah, not seeing it. I mean, it's sort of odist, but that would be that 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 wouldn't be appropriate to the clue. Okay, ah, follower, ah, well, or something like that. Uh, get in all right, get in trouble, perhaps. What else can we do to get this? I mean, this does look like an N. Get in trouble, perhaps. Something on? Sorry, this is definitely one of those answers <laughs> where I have quite a few people e yelling at me through the screen and I'm just not able to see it. I'm very sorry about that. A chucklehead could be, I don't know, a wimp or something or a, maybe a simp, a simpleton. Person who comes across as top lofty, a snob. That sounds like an adjective that would mean snobbish article go with? A noun? So an article linguistically, so the or a or something would introduce a noun. Okay, so this is a shiano. Okay, it's sort of the most obvious. If you had to imagine what the Spanish word for ocean might be, you might guess that, and I just wasn't sure, so I didn't. Winning by a basket, say, could be up one, maybe, so in basketball, or up two or three, actually. Sorry, I don't know I don't know what would be the most likely two up, up two, I guess would be the most likely because most shots in basketball are, are scored two, right? So that would seem like a plausible answer. I, I probably just said something deeply, deeply ignorant. Um, flash sale. Come on by now. Okay. Right. 
that can be a, a sort of come on and an enticement to uh, engage in a sale. Where the coxswain sits, uh, so this would be in a boat. Maybe this isn't buy now, but rather act now, act on the terms of the sale. And so the coxswain could sit in the aft of the boat. That would that looks much more plausible than something ending with Y to me. Organization with guidelines. Many organizations have guidelines. The SEC, I don't know. Um, the FTC, uh, many federal commissions. What a motorist often screws up, a gas cap, perhaps. So the CDC, yet another organization that has guidelines. I mean, it's sort of, it's such a vague clue, but I, uh, maybe, might be the CDC. Reference work in the public domain that's updated weekly. I don't know. Maybe fact is this word, perhaps? Destination for many retiring soldiers. Um, I'm wondering if rather than retiring from service, this means retiring to go to sleep. Cots in a in a barracks, I bet. And hit list a hit list to do something. Stations, ports, not necessarily posts. Stationed to a post, some lightweight, some lightweight protection, lightweight protection, some form of armor maybe. Does that work with anything here? Stiletto feature. I mean, it could be a stiletto, a knife, or a stiletto heel named for the knife. I, I don't think armor. I don't think I'm confident enough about that. CBS series with a most wanted spinoff. Oh, I don't know. Um, CSI is a CBS series, right? That just came up within the last couple of days. Is there a CSI Most Wanted? I have no idea. It doesn't ring a bell, but it seems like it would be extremely plausible. I believe it. Uh, in all honesty, range on a cosmetic, range on a cosmetic stretch, skin tones. There we go. That makes me much more confident about CSI. Oh, some a fact, fact book. Is it the sort of World CIA World Factbook. That's something that's that's that the the CIA maintains and, and publishes about and has um, sort of statistics and information about countries around the world. So that might be the answer here. Bringing down the house, slaying. If you're if you're slaying it, that sounds terrible. Uh, so comedians and other performers often refer to having a really great set a really great performance is slaying. So I'm wondering if that's you know, bringing down the house is obviously also used idiomatically to mean that. So I'm wondering if it's something like that. My achievements for Jennifer Hudson and Whoopi Goldberg in brief. Well, I definitely knew Whoopi Goldberg was an EGOT recipient. So Jennifer Hudson must be as well. EGOT standing for Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony. The um, So for... So the, the the most prestigious um, uh, you know performing arts honors in their given fields. Okay, blank. What? Wait. What? You might say. My, I say. There we go. So this this is dealing with slaying, and to get recompense for could be to. Oh, I don't know. I can't see it. So it feels like it should be right there, and I just can't quite close it. K for K. Oh, carrot. K is a is a um, a jewelry chain, and so K stands for carrot, and and uh, they would be using carrots and sort of measuring or saying their uh, their wares. So that makes sense to me. Emotional assessment of one's surround. This is a very punny, a very sort of sly. Uh, crossword. It's not a sort of funny joke, punny clue style. It's 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 very. Um, uh, we have many clues that are just just a little bit uh, off in ways that aren't punny enough to demand the question mark. There have been a number of those, but we do have to still read them in a different way. We have to look at them slightly askance. Okay, emotional assessment of one's surroundings in lingo. Something check. Emotional assessment. I wonder if it's a vibe check or something like that. Is that a is that a phrase? Vibe check. 
those out for blood. This one does have the question mark, so particularly punny, but I'm not sure. Supposedly. I, I, I just don't know if this is, I'm, I'm not confident about that. The check seems more likely. Ah, follower. Why? Oh, to get in trouble. Oh, to get somebody else in trouble. To get her in trouble. To tell on her as opposed to get yourself in trouble. That That is... <laughs> so this one's not even punny at all. It's just very subtly misdirected because I think most people would probably read this the way that I did initially. Get oneself in trouble as opposed to get somebody else in trouble. There we go. Okay. So, oh, A Life for the Tsar would, that would make sense, the Mikhail Klinka opera. Um, so, oh, Obergfell, Obergfell versus Hodges, landmark Supreme Court decision of 2015, if I remember correctly. Gay marriage decision. Um, Pluto, famously, is a dog. Um, I wouldn't have gone there initially, but that G makes me think it's referring to the Disney cartoon character. And once again, this is something where uh, this is very much in keeping with the cluing of this puzzle so far. It's just a little bit misdirected in, in a way that isn't called attention to, particularly. So what sort of dog is Pluto? Famously. Maybe maybe not. I don't know. Famously. I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it is referring to the former planet. Formerly categorized as planet, supposedly. Um, Snickers alternative. Well, Snickers is a candy bar, so it could be some sort of bar. And to go back as in a tide is to ebb. Unlikely trait for a beekeeper. A phobia of bees. It apophobia, I would think, would be fear of bees, because api, the uh, prefix relating to bees. Ah, follower. A chew and a sneeze. <laughs> right, again, I think just a very subtle bit of misdirection. And we think this would be, ah, well, or something like that. But no, it's not. It's the first half of a chew, as onomatopoeic description of a or representation of a sneeze. Okay, Snickers alternative. Oh, Mr. Goodbar. I don't think I've ever had a Mr. Goodbar, nor do I know what it contains, but I am aware that it exists. And so I suspect it is an alternative to a Snickers bar. Formerly called a uh, marathon here in the UK. Snickers, I mean, not Mr. Goodbar. Those out for blood. Those out for blood. Not sure. Supposedly. There have been several clues in this puzzle where I feel I should be able to just jump right to it. And this is another one. And for some reason, I just can't seem to do so. Um, oh, big, it'll be the big something conference. Big 10 or big six or big, probably not six. That doesn't seem like enough, but um, maybe big 10. Uh, with 55 down, gamble. It was a gamble. It was a, I'm not sure. Oh, here's another off ball. Maybe this one's, oh, well, no, no, I don't think that works. Uh, oh, I just, I'm, oh, writing of Horace, an epode? That works. Does that help with any, oh, that, that, that makes this, that really does make this look like five check, doesn't it? Oh, vampires are out for blood. Right, okay, that, that really should have been uh, an easier get. Sorry about that. Oh, Pluto's a pet dog, a pet dog, okay. I think that famously is only there to introduce confusion. I mean, I suppose it's true that Pluto is a pet dog, but but why does he need to be famously so? That doesn't seem strictly necessary. What is that there for? Because you could also say those out for blood famously. Sure, vampires are very much known for that. But what makes that what makes Pluto famously a pet dog? rather than just being one. I don't know. I think it's just there to make the clue read better. Supposedly, I presume, okay, that really, I really should have gotten that more quickly. So this does look like Big Ten. Ah, I see. That looks right. It's the kind of thing I say often while solving crosswords. 
And, oh, gamble, run, um, gamble. Oh, I just, again, I feel like I should be able to get that immediately. Station, so it could be ports or posts. Some lightweight protection. And in all honesty, so something, I'm not sure. Hit list. Lead into ed or prof, education or professor or professional. Assistant? Editor? Oh, yeah. Assistant editor, which Sam Masersky, I think, himself is. Um, or assistant professor, I suppose. Blank stage, concept and psychosexual development. Um, this will be a Freudian thing, I would think. Um, not sure. Assistant could be wrong, I guess. Where Talofa and Tofa mean hello and goodbye. Is it Samoa? It sort of seems like it would be, but I'm not sure. Many people do this on January 1st. I don't know. I mean, they could vow. You could make resolutions. Induce. To induce somebody to do something is to... Or to induce labor is to start it. It doesn't, it's not quite close enough. Um, I don't know. Maybe delete this because I'm not sure yet. This has been, a, I found this to be a very tough puzzle so far. Okay, uh, train workers, or to train workers. It's either workers on a train, or it means to um, uh, to give training to people who are employed. So this is one of those clues where when I see the, the question mark, I think, well, I don't know which way it thinks I'm reading it initially, so I'm not sure which way to read it alternatively, if you see what I mean. Train workers, as in uh, give people training, or employees who work on a railway, both seem like equally plausible normal ways of reading this, so I'm just not sure which I meant to realize is the punny one. Wheat variety for a grain bowl. Farro is a, is a grain you could make a sort of bowl meal out of. Cut down, oh, fell is in a tree. Drug trade. Um, drug trade. Sorry for the noise in the background. Um, I don't know if that's coming through. In all honesty, it begins, blessed is the man that waketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nevertheless, even so, maybe? Into now, that doesn't look right. Pippet lookalikes. What is Pippet? Bringing down the house. I mean, I want this to be slaying it. That just sounds a little odd to me for some reason. Colin's place familiarly. Nevertheless, and yet, like swampland, marshy or oozy or something, end of a series in Canada. Oh, Z maybe, the end of the alphabet, the series of letters of the alphabet. Uh, this probably is Samoa. This looks like amazing. Webmaster with the, oh, the amazing Spider-Man. Right, there we go. Okay, so here's another slightly punny answer that was not clued with a question mark for the pun indicator. Um, but Spider-Man is indeed a master of the web or webs. Okay. Induce. Maybe this isn't assistant. Seems like it would be. Induce. And Colin's place, familiarly, is this something to do with the intestine or something? Or doesn't really seem doesn't really seem right. Like swampland, miry seems like a terrible word. I don't think that's likely to be true. 
Um, I don't, boy, I'm, I'm, I'm running into some trouble here. Train, train workers to bone up, but that would be used for yourself rather than somebody else. I was just trying to think of it from the, from the other way around, the way that Talon worked on being the other way around, although starting from a different point. Um, I mean, maybe this is miry. That seems horrible. So if this were an M, this could be mentor to train workers to mentor them. Oh, get uh, uh, recompense for it could be to avenge a wrongdoing to get a recompense for it. Maybe this is an R. Is that really what this is going to be? This this just doesn't look there's something I'm not just not seeing in this area. Broad views visors. That doesn't seem likely. Sides of a square, maybe. Okay, there could be streets as in a square, sort of urban square. Oh, vistas, broad views of a landscape. And longtime name in baseball card, I don't, never looked at this clue, but tops, they manufactured or probably still do manufacture baseball cards. See, six down. Oh, run a risk is to gamble. There we go. There we go. I should have gotten that earlier. Oh, right. Okay. I thought this was going to be a psalm, but I was thinking, okay, so is it Psalm 1? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. I don't know, but I, that would be my guess based on the fill. Okay. What a day, you might you might say. Pippet lookalikes. Skylarks? Oh, that must be a bird. That sounds familiar. I uh, wouldn't have known they are Skylark lookalikes. Okay, drug trade pharma used to refer to the pharmaceutical trade, the pharmaceutical industry. There we go. Hit list. Top gun? Hit list. Stiletto feature, a hilt of a of a blade, hilt of a, a dagger. Um, some lightweight protection. Uh, maybe not. This does look like it should be armor, doesn't it? In all honesty, to be frank, oh, maybe this wasn't CSI after all of that. So what is it? CBS series. Hit list. Top men? So stations could be ports. No, it could be posts as well, right? I keep forgetting it could be both of those. Soft armor, some lightweight protection. Oh, the haft. Okay. Uh, the haft of a, of, a, of a dagger. And then hit list top 10. Oh, hits as in um, songs. There we go. That's it. Many people do this on January 1st. Okay, I'm back to this area that is befuddling me. Colin's place, familiarly. Slaying it. I feel like this must be the answer, even though it, it just reads a little oddly to me, but it, it is such a strange ending for whatever this answer is. Many people do this on January 1st. Induce. I keep doubting this assistant thing. Do they nap because you've been up past midnight? Induce. Sorry about this. This is not going. This is this is not going well. Uh, something stage concept in psychosexual development. Oh, anal stage. So this is assistant, maybe nap. Spawn. Ah, you induce a development. You spawn that thing sort of occurring. Okay, that's interesting. Spawn to me suggests creation. Whereas induce means sort of pushing forward or causing something, but not necessarily creating it yourself. That's interesting. I, I, I'm sure there is a sense in which you can you can use these um, sort of interchangeably, but it isn't the one that would have jumped to mind for me first. Uh, that's uh, that's interesting. Okay, so lower GI, lower something intestine, colon's place, 
familiarly and yeah, like swampland must be miry after all. Okay, that's, that's, I guess a word. It's just not a very attractive one. And there we go. All right. So that was the Saturday crossword. Very good, very good puzzle. I'd, um, it's just some things that were not obvious to me, like lower GI, um, but uh, but a very good sly sort of cluing uh, take. Um, those out for blood. I mean, <laughs> in this crossword, honestly, the way that many of these were were clued, it feels like this might as well not have had the uh, the question mark. Um, because there were there were quite a few clues that were similar to that 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 didn't really. Oh, here's one I never saw. Nas's third studio album after Illmatic and it was written I am. There we go. Didn't see that in the uh, in the cluing. And what a motorist often screws up. No, see that has the that has the question mark. So maybe there weren't as many of those as there. Oh, K for K, K for K. See that to me this could have had a question mark, and I suppose in this case just didn't. Um, it's it's a it's a gray area, I suppose. Hit list, yeah. Train workers mentor. <laughs> I mean, again, literally, to train workers is to mentor them. Arguably, I suppose it's arguable how literal that is. I guess if mentoring can be training, then literally, then inducing can be spawning. They feel about as similar to me. Um, anyway, there we go. That was the Saturday puzzle. Sorry, it, it was. Uh, not the smoothest solve you've ever seen, but uh, but there we have it. That was a satisfyingly um, challenging Saturday crossword by Sam Azerski, himself an assistant puzzle editor, I believe. And I'll be back tomorrow for the Sunday crossword. A bigger grid um, should be less tricky with the cluing than, than this one, but we will have a theme again and a jumbo-sized grid, so join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Take care. Mm-hmm.